Well, guys, thank you very much for joining us, everyone. As you can see, we've got Norman Lecker and Junior Pocomela. Normie, week off? You never take a week off, though. Eh? You must have been preparing for this game for a while. Oh, uh, my God. Uh, I must say, I actually did took a week off. Um, <laughs> or, or a well-deserved one. Um, we've had a stretch of 11 games straight. Six was on the road overseas in South Africa. Four was at home. So, uh, um, I think everyone deserved a break, um, but we all, everyone's back into full strength and uh, happy to be back, um, being with, back with the guys and uh, looking forward to the game this week. Junior, from a player's point of view, after a week off, nice energy, everyone keen to get stuck in the training? Yes, definitely, Mike. Um, it's been a, it was a nice break. Um, not a good minute against the shots and a nice break now. It's a big challenge this week against the rules, you know, playing away. And it's going to be massive. Excited. Yeah, uh, this African goal is obviously all, always tough, but to be based at home and have a have a proper preparation without traveling also nice. Yeah, it's quite nice. And I'm working well for them. Obviously, one thing will be ready for them this weekend. All right, cool. All right, guys. Uh, I see Nathan's got his hand up. Go for it, Nathan. Cool. Thanks, uh, Mike. Uh, good day, gentlemen. It's been a while. Um, I'll start with you, Norman. Norman, can you just clarify um, the... Um, the rumor behind Man in the Box, will it be a trade-off or will he be staying or what's the situation currently in terms of him leaving the Stormers or will he be staying? Will he be leaving the Stormers? Yes, in terms of, I heard there's a rumor, obviously there's a rumor of him moving to overseas. Nathan, uh, Normie's a defense coach. That, that question probably better wait for Friday and chat to Dobbo about that. Sure, and then uh, Junior, uh, Jenny, just said uh, your opinion on a, on a North and South Derby. Are you guys uh, looking forward to it? And how is the, the 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 guys in camp at the moment? No, the guys are positive, man. Obviously, as I said, now we had a great win against the Sharks, but that's in the past now. We're prepping for the Bulls. I know it's going to be a big one. I'm excited to go out there and help out the team wherever I can. So we'll be prepared. Cool. All right, next is Jan. Yes, Jan. Thanks, Michael. Thanks, Norman. Thanks, Junior. Uh, no, Norman, uh, the, the one thing, I mean, this time of the year, it's summer, everybody, but we know what uh, the country is like at the moment. We've all seen the reports of the floods and we just chatted to the Bulls and, and they talk about how wet it is up there. Um, do you guys change the, the way you approach this game, given the conditions you expected to have in, at Loftus? Look, Jan, <laughs> We've made that mistake in the past to prepare for something wet um, or something humid like in Durban. And then on the day, it's just been uh, either very warm, no humidity, or uh, it came down with rain. So at the moment, we're just preparing. Like when normal people prepare for our, for our game, I think our game is suited for, for any weather that, that's coming our way. We've been in Europe for quite a while, um, playing in um, tough conditions at Ulster, um, in Cardiff earlier this season. And in Glasgow, so um, you know, for us, it's, we, we're preparing ourselves for the best possible, so that we can be the best possible team on the field on Saturday, the best prepared team. And uh, what are you expecting of the Bulls? Uh, I mean, obviously, you guys are favourites. Everybody's uh, punting you for, for another big win. What, what, how do you prepare? What are you expecting from the Bulls? Yeah, and to be honest, um, I wouldn't say we're the favourites. The Bulls is a quality side. Um, they they a real force when it comes to Loftus. They've done well the past few years under Jake at Loftus. Um, they've, had, they've had an unfortunate run with one or two games away, but at Loftus, they're a different beast. They're physical. Um, they're a good all-round team, so we respect them for who they are. Cool. Thanks, Jan. Leeton, go for it. Thanks, Mikey. Hi, Norman. Hi, Junior. Norman, um, just for you, um, yes, like, it's, it's, it's tough. Um, being on sort of that high that the Sharks um, win brought and then having a week off and, and, and then playing again. Um, how, how have you guys tried to just keep that level of, of if I can call it euphoria of after the Sharks win, how, how do you keep that level in, in the squad um, to, to keep the spirits up of the guys? Look, everyone knew against the Sharks is our last game before we have a, have a week off. Um, obviously the result went away, but uh, regardless of the result we would have had off, the guys are giving everything, really proud of the guys that was on the field on the day, did a phenomenal job. Um, so I don't think, um, because it's been two weeks back, um, they won't pitch up um, for this week. They've been superb this whole week. 
So for um, training on Monday and Tuesday. On Monday and Tuesday. So uh, yeah, looking forward to the rest of the week and uh, just uh, going, going out and give our best at Loftus on Saturday. And then um, Dombo mentioned that, that he might pick a, a mixed team for, for this week. Um, I would think that, that you somehow know how the, how the team will look. Um, in terms of, of defensively, how, how difficult is it to, to, to play the Bulls um, when, uh, if, I can, if I can call it, when, when you play in front of their fans, in front of Loftus, you, you, the, the guys <clears throat> know what to do here in Cape Town. Um, uh, but, but how do you pitch up for, for the Bulls? Yeah, I think um, like any other game, you with professional rugby players and uh, you take it game by game. It doesn't matter who you play against. You need to be up for it. If you're not up for it, then on the day you can get hurt as a team. So we 23 guys is going up to Loftus and we will do what we can can do our best. And uh, um, yeah, like we did against the Sharks. So we went out obviously conceding still three tries. So there's still some work that needs to be done and still stuff that stuff that we need to improve on. And uh, that's that that's what we've done for this week to make sure we're well prepared on Saturday. And just lastly, um, we all talk about um, the forward game that that might dominate the news, the media, and, and on Saturday as well. But um, how crucial will it be for you guys to, to at the back, um, I mean, Dan and Ruan's combination have been pretty good in shutting down um, attacking players. You, you're coming up against guys like Cornel Hendricks. Um, I don't know if Kirtley Arendt is playing, but there's Kane and Moody. Um, how important will it be to, to for the backs also to make that, that defensive um, step up? Yeah, look, our backs defense has been has been quite well um, throughout the season. We've had uh, bad patches, um, but we've worked on it. And uh, um, yeah, I mean, we also have guys like Siabello, Suleiman, um, then Ruan and Dan, Sasha, Clayton, everyone that, that's played at a quite a decent level. Um, so if they just do what's been asked of them and stay in the system, then I'm sure. Um, the guys will, will be able to do good. Cool. Thanks, Leeton. Thank next you. is Percival. Yes, Percival. Michael, thank you so much for the opportunity. Good afternoon, gentlemen. Um, um, Norman, the only is Afrikaans for your phone. Yeah, I have Ja, man, kom ik vraag over nog veel. Um, wat is jullie motivering hier in Naweek daar op Loft de Sversveld? Dit klinkt naar de meer, meest al, algemeenste vraag. Jullie is die verdedigende kampioene, jullie staan stuur op die punten leer. Wat is jullie motivering echter hier in Naweek daar op Loft de Sversveld? Maat in die bulle? Um, soos elke Naweek wat ons speel, as ek vroeger gesê, is, is, is dit vir ons baie belangrijk om ons span te verbeter. Jy wil nooit achteruit gaan in die leven nie, so daar is ons klein goedkies in die saak wat ons, wat ons in geheel maak, so wat sy departement het is nie, waarin ons om kan verbeter en ons ons streef om, om die volmaakte span te wees, en ek denk, ons is nog ver van die volmaakte span af. So, vir ons is het om ons telke ouwe te beveel te gaan, die plan uit te voer, en net te verbeter, wat hy die vorige saad het in die saaks um, te gedoen het, en hooplik, um, dan weer te kan verbeter die volgende naweek. Um, en dan, natuurlijk, dit is een noord-suid daby, um, dit is altijd, uh, back in the day, kom van lang geschiedenis af, so ja, elke ouwe moet net sy, moet net sy rol vervul, um, op die dag en sy beste gee. En ek ervaar, die stommers wil focus op wat hulle moet probeer recht kree hier in naweek op Loft is Versel, maar is het er ver van my om te denk dat die boels, hulle te punt op die wees, hulle te appelkie om te skil met die stommers van wat die titel draars op die ongeluk is, is dit, is, is dit uh, iets wat jylle dalk um, bieke slaaploos in nacht te gee, as ek so uh, streng word gaan gebruik? Slaaploos in nacht is een groot woord, maar um, hulle is een baie goeie span, soos ek op vroeger gesê het, Jack White en sy afrikaan span doen ek reid, doen ek reid werk met, met sy span. Ek weet, hy was nog vir twee, drie weke nie by die span gewees, hy is nou weer terug. So ek sêker af van as klein bykie nie by met die vering onder hulle span um, na hy teruggekom het en hulle was blij om om te sien. Um, ja, ek sal gesien ook uit om te sien ons saterdag, maar uh, ja, dit is belangrijk vir ons om te verbeter um, in plaas van op die oppositie te focus. Maak ek ons ask one last question to Junior, please? You may. Thank you so much, Michael. Julie, can I just ask you, um, um, obviously, I don't expect you or Norman to give us the team that's going to run out on Saturday, but there was a lot of talk from the coaches, so, uh, coach as well, saying that he might um, think of possible changes. 
but what whichever team that runs out on Saturday at Loftus, you guys will obviously show the necessary respect to the Bulls team though, because they they will definitely be out there to prove point against you guys. No, listen, man, obviously uh, we were at the great game with the Sharks and the Loftus pretty much before the Sharks came, but everyone here at the storm is uh, is ready to to step in, you know. Um, as you saw against the Sharks, um, the guys have played, um, they've played together for, for a long time and they pitched up. Um, everyone understands the systems. And obviously the Bulls team is going to be probably the same guys that have been playing together. And um, as I said earlier on, we'll prepare for them and um, we'll be ready on Saturday. Thank you so much, Michael. Thank you, gentlemen. Cool. Mm-hmm. Nice one, Percy. Thank you. Next is Kanye, sir. Um, thank you very much, guys. Um, I've got just, a, I think, a couple of questions for Norman and one for Junior. Um, Norman, we were speaking to, I think it was Chris or so earlier today, and he mentioned two facets of the Stormers game that um, can and will cause the Bulls problem. One of them is a chaotic element of play that brings the backs in when it's expected. And number two is also the defensive organization that he deems to be uh, one of the best in the tournament. How do you want? How do you guys want to harness those two qualities? What is a very crucial game um, on Saturday? How are we going to harness a defensive organization and using chaos for an important game on Saturday? Are we going to use? Are we going to use? Um, yeah, look, our defense as as. Uh, we use our defense to, to create turnovers from, from other teams. But, I mean, the Bulls has good ball carriers. They're strong. They have a good kicking game. So, it's not always going to be that easy um, just to get that turnover. So, so we need to um, fight for in another area to get to get the turnovers and make sure the defense stands strong. And I think from a lock perspective, how, how big is this game for you guys? Because Leinster and Eaton... And probably the Stormers are the one side that have shown a remote challenge to 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 Leinster's lock position at the moment. Look, it's quite a difficult question to answer. Um, obviously, the lock is important to us. Um, every like every single game is important to us. If you if you fight in every single game, then uh, um, you're gonna climb the lock. If you don't, then you're gonna go down on the lock. So it's every single game is for us as a team is important to get as much as much as possible points out of every single game. So whatever comes away this weekend, we will take it so that we can climb the log. It's hard to man the log one and attempt your pillar and matala ne um na yekwano valo fani pegelo stars mukuba galo gumka lo mukuluga kulo na paga di kupuzi na Thomas lelo na tadi lo mponzo lo malikle yo abim zaza Afrika ge na ni zito Thomas ge ni pegelo ukrita manumzi lo stars Sorry, Okay, just can you ask that again? Sorry, just faculty here. Can you say you there? Uh, hi, Mike. Is it there? I think you lost it. Oh. Sorry, can you say we, we just couldn't hear you properly there? Can you repeat the question for Junior? Okay, so, sorry, sorry, I just I just lost network of it. Um then such a man is part of Lisa Colo you put out again of that winning a bag and even Thomas, who bag a look at the cool and get German is Thomas, but he can have the chance to know by Ningo, no other than the Pagoda who would be in the family by before. Oh, yeah, that obviously match a good level for China since Thomas, and I'm on a since Tony by both, but. Sip of the pressure after the weekend so to make sure it's really for the Bulls. It's going to be a, a big game. Yeah, not South Derby, it goes uh, way back many years. But um, yeah, it's a match in Goli and uh, yeah, it's a third thing. Thank you very much, Mike. Uh, Norman, you know, I think you had three sessions done in the book, but I'm certainly not going to stress to think that I'm going to have a lot of fish to do. But is this still on the spell? Is this still part of the motivation? Yeah, Steven, that is part of the motivation. But unfortunately, that this is still on the side of the year. We're going to look at it, because you have to look at it as a kid. So, as we're going to look at it, we're going to look at it, but we're going to try our best for it. En um, een van die dingen um, wat, je weet uit de aard, jylle, um, 
uh, jy, jy loop nou vir, vir um, Ewan en vir Akjiva, vir Rikkie um, uh, gemis. Wat bring Marcel vir jou um, uit die verdedigings oogpunt as hy achterman speel? Um, kry jy, um, wen jy een bykie op die um, verdediging um, as, as hy speel en boet jy een bykie in uiteraard op die aanval as Akjiva nie daar is nie of uh, ja, wat, wat bied Marcel vir jou? Steven, nee, ek kijk al die die afsman, Ewan, Atsiva en Marcel, ek denk dat het gaan verkeerd wees om dat te probeer vergelijk as rugby spelers met elke liewe een van hulle het uh, ongelooflike bijdrage tot die span. Um, Atsiva is van nominaal bal in hand, goeie voete, waar vannag Ewan soort gelijk met Bikkie Krag by, waar Marcel een baie goeie balans tussen die twee van hulle het. Um, Verdediging gewees is hy, is hy uitstekend, um, hy, hy werk die veld vol um, ja, ek denk Amelie het gesien in die saak wat hy vir die span kan beteken, wel in hand en op die dergeling, so ja, um, ek denk is hy ook hier wat nog gewacht het met sy kans en sy kans gekry het, en hy het aangegryp met al die hand. Um, Junior, um, where do you see yourself fitting uh, into the into the loose forward uh, combination? I mean, what at the end of the day would, would be your um, favourite position? <laughs> I don't know now, I... Uh, I've been playing a lot of positions. I play six, seven. So wherever the team needs me at the moment, it um, doesn't really matter what number I'm wearing on my back. Um, if I can help the team at six, I'll play six. If I can help the team at seven, I'll play seven. So it doesn't really matter. And Norman, who like um, Akjiva se se fixate the British stadium? Is is there any other man that you like to refer? Bishan. Oh, um, yeah, Akjiva. Het, uh, soos het ons afgehaald het in die kaap, was hy so klein bykie die baai toe gewees. Um, <laughs> so ek denk sy vir sê, dit is die bed nie. Um, en nie, het, daar is ook nie daar bykie op en afgehaald. Maar nee, terug te kom nie, ek vraag toe Steven, um, hy lyk baie goed, ek kan nie vir jou precies sê, um, wanneer hy gaan, gaan, gaan recht wees nie, maar uh, um, ja, sy rehabilitaas lyk baie goed, so hoopelijk sien ons om begin nie volgende paar dae of week of twee. Cool, Stephen. Do you have any more questions? No, thanks. It's fine. You're good. Okay, like it. Uh, Leeton, got your hand up again. Thanks, Mikey. Julian, just for you, you said now there's no preference as long as you can you can help the team in, in what you do. Um, and you've been doing quite a lot um, uh, uh, the last couple of times you started and when you came off the bench, um, it's just that unfortunate that you had to sit out with, with a slight um, niggle um, when you went over. But overall, how, how have you f- been feeling fitting into this um, team when you when you do get the chance to run out? No, I've been feeling good. I'm not going to lie to you. I've been feeling really good. Um, as I said, um, I don't mind um, what number I'm wearing on my back. If it's six, I'll, I'll try and, and do my best. If it's seven, as you know. But um, all I do uh, every week is, is learn the detail for all the positions and make sure I'm ready wherever I'm um, If I'm playing seven uh, this week, I'll be ready at seven. If I'm on the bench, I'll try and cover six and seven, you know, and make sure I know every single detail. So it doesn't really matter what number I'm wearing on my back, as long as I can help the team. And and you've you've got a tough um, job against the Bulls with, with the type of loose forwards that they that they have. Um, are you really thinking that um, that opportunity to weigh yourself are you relishing the opportunity to weigh yourself against them yes um, they've got a, a top loose loose trio they've got um Carl Brink and Marco von Staden and Springboks and Aaron Klo as well top player so it's always nice to 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 get to measure yourself against the best and you know obviously the Springboks I respect them highly but uh yeah it's always nice it's going to be a big challenge and I'm excited for it if and if and when the the game comes, um, will you be the one controlling the mall as well? You've you've scored some spectacular tries behind the, the rolling mall. Um and, and whenever you whenever you pop up um close to the try line. Yes, um so I, I can't tell you what I'm gonna do this weekend. But uh <laughs> wherever I am, wherever I am. So if I'm there, I'll I'll try and you know, obviously uh, the main goal when you get to 20, you will try and score a try. But um, obviously, work hard during the week to make sure we get those results in the weekend. But um, if I'm there this weekend, I'll try and get it done. If I'm not there, I'll, I'll try and make sure I, um, I help out in the lineup. You know. And then, just lastly, um, 
do you enjoy the the stiff competition that you are up against? I mean, you've got two um, eightsmen that that are injured. Um, you've got some up and coming loose forwards that's blowing in your neck. Um, that 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 must be quite exciting, eh? Yeah, it's healthy, man. I'm not gonna lie to you. Um, as a player, you really want competition. You want to, you know, be tested week in week out, and keep pushing yourself. Right? And without competition, then you become um, what does it say? You become um, complacent. complacent, you know. So having a competition, it's actually very healthy. It keeps you on your toes and it makes you work even harder. Nice one. Thank you. Thanks, Leeton. We got Gavin Rich. Perfect, Gavin. How's it, how's it, how's it, guys? Um, I just wanted to actually, I'm coming in here at the end because I'm sort of picking on what other people have asked and what maybe hasn't been directly answered. Um, firstly, uh, just 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 um, like everybody keeps sort of like using this expression that um, we're going to have a mixed team and and what whatever, and that that's another way of saying like we're not going full strength. So I want to ask you, and I know you're not selecting the team, uh, Norman, and I know that Dobbo. Michael's going to tell us the Dobbo's announcing the team on Friday, but are we going what what, what 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 are we going with what Dobbo would sort of call the full full metal jacket? Earlier on, somebody asked about Marnie, and they were asking about him going overseas. I'm less concerned about whether he's going overseas or about whether to, rather whether he's going to loft us on Saturday, for instance. Can you yeah, answer that? Uh, yeah, I'm going to be honest with you. We haven't made the final decision. I'm going to lie to you if I tell you he's going. I'm also going to lie to you if I tell you he's not going. Because we haven't made the final decision, we still have to assess. Um, is 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 Neil very got? So uh, um, we'll probably have the final call by the end of the day. Okay, okay. So there's 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 a couple of guys that in in your squad who've like played a bit of, even though they're not in the Springbok resting protocols now, they had very busy sort of 2022 because they played at Castle. I'm thinking of Dion, for instance, um, Dion Ferry. I mean, are there guys that 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 you may be looking at at this point, or do you look at it and say, well, we got two games two weeks apart at the moment? Um, maybe we don't need to rest them, or is that a consideration? We've, we've had we've had a week off last week, so certain guys have been flagged with uh, quite a lot of minutes. Um, like I said, it's it's, it's similar. Um, Monica getting a little bit, but, but similar protocol with with the rest of the guys. The guys with high minutes, we need to look after them. Obviously, in the interest of South African rugby, um, we also uh, as 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 few arrangements with them to make sure that we can give them. Um, the guys that they need for the World Cup or the guys that's possible part of it. But uh, at the moment, we're just having a look at our teams to get the best possible team out there for Saturday. And do you, I know that you, you probably don't want to look behind you and you'd rather look ahead of you. When I say behind you, who's behind you in the log? But obviously, um, this game is an important one. And, so, and I know you, you'll say that the, the log's not, not that important. But do you see this as an opportunity of like making sure of the shield? Because if you win on this this week, there's only four games after that and the Bulls will be like 14 or 15 behind. Uh, do you see this as maybe like the sort of final frontier to at least retain that the one trophy you won last year, which of course was the was the shield? Look, Gavin, yes, it's obviously, I, I think it's in... It will be in the Bulls' coaches' minds as well um, to make sure they they get the most points out of this game to climb the log as high as they can. And yes, it is in our minds the same. If in any rugby game, if you can open up a gap between three and four, two and three, or two and five, wherever it is, um, you'd like to do it. So, so yes, if 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 we can do it, we we, we would be really happy about it. And obviously, there's actually there's actually like little battles on several fronts at the moment. Um, it'll be nice if uh, maybe Franco's team, I'm talking about Glasgow Warriors, obviously, knock over Ulster on Friday night as well. Yeah, look, there are also a few points behind us that will definitely do us a, do us a favour. Um, but yeah, then, then the lock becomes quite tight um, in that regard from one to five, going into, into like, you see, like you said, the last four games before the playoffs. Okay, one final question from me. Um, just... Because I mean he hasn't played for a while, so it seems like really almost stupid to ask this question now. But you did play them once after Marcel had left. How much? How much do you think the Bulls miss Marcel? I'm talking about Marcel. Um, what's yeah, good year. Good year. Yeah, Marcel, good year. Look, he's a phenomenal rugby player. Great captain. Um, I've met him once or twice. A great person of the game to speak to. I do think um, his leadership um, they might miss. N nothing against um, Ruan Orki and the guys. It's um, been captaining um, the season, but yeah, I think Marcel is a phenomenal rugby player. Wouldn't have played 30 odd test matches for South Africa, even was the great rugby player. So, uh, and he played, I don't know how many games for Alston.
So uh, I think they do miss him. Like any big rugby player, leaving a union does leave all, even though sometimes you think you can replace him. Okay, sorry, just one final one, because I feel like it's almost incomplete if you're going to Pretoria, and I'm not going to ask you about the altitude. Um, just uh, if there is wet weather, I know you're not going to sort of look ahead and, and, and just assume there's wet weather, but I'm sort of assuming that when, when, when you have a wet weather game at altitude, it's very different to playing there in the sunshine with the, with the clear sky. I'm talking about now the air and the, you know, because there's moisture in the air. Am I right in that? So the altitude factor isn't as much if you play on a wet day in Pretoria as, as much as it is on a on a dry afternoon? Yeah, 100%. Look, it's actually maybe a better question to ask Junior because he's on the field, but me as carrying water when there's no <laughs> rain, I'm dying. But uh, yeah, you're right. If, 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 uh, if, if it's a little bit rainy, then, then the altitude becomes a bit less. So maybe, Junior, you can answer the question. Uh, well, maybe I didn't ask Junior because he came, I mean, he spent so much time in Bloemfontein, so maybe he doesn't feel the altitude. <laughs> <laughs> okay, then. <laughs> <I'm a dry. laughs> yeah. No, 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 the question doesn't uh, play. Does yeah. It does affect you um, <laughs> if it's sunshine. But, uh, yeah, when, when, when there's rain, then it's a little bit less and there's a bit on the ball. Um, and, yeah, it's, it's a bit different than a Cape Town storm or anything like we know the thunderstorms and stuff but uh, yeah we'll, we'll try to prepare the best as possible for whichever weather comes our way we prepared for weather like i said earlier storms in johannesburg and then there's nothing so so we'll see what comes up on the day okay junior would you agree with with what norman said there about the, the altitude um yeah yeah definitely and and to add to that um we try to have such a high tempo so the altitude doesn't really matter you know, obviously, you saw in Durban the humidity and, yeah. the, and the heat. You know, it didn't affect us. So, in this week, I can promise you that will not affect us as well. How how bad was it? I mean, I'm initially from Durban, but I spoke to mates. I didn't go there uh, for that particular game. But <laughs> I spoke to some mates there, and they just told me that it was terrible. I mean, I was told by some mates of mine. They said, "Listen, the storm has got no chance. It's the, the humidity is just too much." And and I did speak to your your coach like after the game, and he told me that um, you, he felt it's one of your bravest performances. Would you agree with that? No, definitely. It was horrible. I'm not going to lie to you. It was horrible. Okay, so you, you'd rather have the humidity though than the... I mean, you'd rather have the altitude than the than humidity. Yeah, definitely. I'd rather, I'd rather play at altitude than play in Durban. Okay, cool. Thanks. Thanks a lot. Thanks, Kevin. Thanks, guys. Thanks, guys. We'll catch you on Friday with Dobbo. You can ask him all about the team selection. See you then. Cheers.